Hey everybody, I got my banggood.com bag in the mail today. It took um, three weeks to get here, which is really not bad. I thought it was actually from China, but the return um, address is in Germany. So maybe they have several storage facilities. I know they listed, I think, a Korean one and a US one, but I didn't know that it was kind of all over the place. So I think it kind of depends what you order. So this place actually... Um, gives free shipping on any total order which is actually an amazing perk for somebody that um gets stuff through the mail all of the time so if i like this stuff i will definitely be a consistent buyer okay so the first thing that i have here is actually something called a nail pillow i think it was like five or six dollars which is really not bad I didn't get a choice of color but all it is is so that when I do my nails that it isn't like I do something where it's kind of free floating like I hold my hand there and it's just not very steady I mean it's steady enough but like I just really want to like you can either rest your arm like this for yourself or like this and it just helps you do your nail art since you can see that I like doing that I thought it was worthwhile it was pretty cheap so thought I would give that a try. My whole order came to $38, just so you know. I only did a small order so I could kind of see like um, how long the shipping takes, what kind of quality, because I tried a different um, Asian site that I really was unhappy with. So I didn't want to go kind of make that mistake again. So then I got two of these pencils. These are rhinestone pencils or for picking up gems. What it is, it's actually kind of like a wax pencil that once you sharpen it, you can pick up your um, gems better with because I have tweezers and like they're just so fine. I mean, I can do it and like you can see, like it is pretty, it gets on there pretty good. It's just so tedious. It takes me a really long time to get it perfect. And I believe these were like two for four bucks or something like that. Then I got this little um, thingy mabobber. That's helpful, right? Thingy mabobber. Um, they are French tips. And basically there is um, one that is a triangle, a wave on two sides, and then your typical moon. And this was only a dollar. And there's some glitter on there. So I'm hoping that my glitter didn't bust open. Then I got these little tweezers. I don't know if they'll be helpful, but I think they were only three bucks and definitely worth a try. They are to assist in um, applying eyelashes because I always feel like really awkward when I'm applying them. Maybe it's just me. Um, I kind of get scared when I'm putting like my sharp tweezers by my eye. I don't know, I guess I can't even trust myself, which is kind of scary and sad. But yeah, I thought I would give these a try. They're going to definitely be a love them or hate them kind of um, item. But I mean, if these work, I'll be so happy. Next up, I got these glitters. And I think this was about $5. And what they are, they're like little loose um, cartridges. But it is large glitter. So you can pick up each glitter individually. Um, which is also the reason why I got that pencil because you're not going to be able to pick these up with a pair of tweezers and you can place them individually which is also going to be very tedious but I've seen some beautiful work on black and white nail polish and gradient and ombre um, styles with this so I thought I would give that a try and I think there was actually like four or five sets like this I got this one this one was a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but they had better colors. Like, they seemed more vibrant. That's why I went with this one. Then, a girl can never go wrong with rhinestones. I already have a colored rhinestone wheel, but they are just simple rhinestones. This one has several shapes. I believe this was probably one to three dollars. I'm sorry, I can never remember how much I spent, but I assure you it was very frugal. There is square, there is large diamonds, rectangles, hearts, crescent moons, kind of like a leaf shape. Your usual um, rhinestone, a slightly larger one, teardrop, star, little, um, what are they called? Butterflies. 
and tiny little hearts or not hearts um, flowers apparently flowers look like hearts so all different shapes which I think is actually such a cheat because what you can do is just paint your nails slap on these bad boys and it's different like you barely have to do anything you're just kind of gluing these to your nails really so that is super super easy up next I got these nail tips now the reason why I did nail tips is because one I do my own nails and two how easy is that so it's all different sizes this was only like three or four dollars I don't even know and I think it's like a thousand tips crazy because this is what I do right so I painted my own tip black this took me sadly this took me 10 minutes I'm not even kidding so what I was thinking is to paint one of these any color you want let them dry and then just glue it onto your nail not just that but your nails are going to be a tiny bit stronger on the tip which means they're going to grow really nice and long and they have like every color you can think of but i thought just get one color and paint it super easy another cheat i think okay let's see what's in here Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I ordered this. I think this was about $8. And this is actually for holding lipsticks. So how cool is this? So there's 4, 8, 12, 16, 24. 24 slots for um, lipsticks. Obviously, I don't have 24. But I do have some um, lip glosses and some lip liners. So I think like if I um, kind of organize this correctly that I would fill this up in no time. And have like my new lip exfoliator that I can put right there. Um, then I have this pump bottle. This pump bottle was I think a couple bucks. And um, it feels like pretty good quality. This is actually for nail polish remover and it's for pressing and it releases some of um, your nail polish remover to a cotton swab here or a brush. The reason why I did this is because I often make mistakes with my nail polish while I'm doing my nail polish. Um, so I can't go take a cotton swab with a bottle and dunk it because I get like the fluffies all over my nails and what have you so like I have to be more careful so this way I don't really have to touch anything um, I can go and take like even a q-tip press down on this and I'm not um, jeopardizing my brand new nail art then I got this buffing cream this was I think another three dollars I actually thought that it came with a buffer but I might be wrong obviously I'm wrong um, so let's take a look okay so this stuff is bright we're not bright pink but like bubblegum pink I know my lights are kind of bright so I'll wash this stuff out my dog is going nuts on the bed look at that look at that it smells pretty nice and I'm just gonna apply that to my nail I know you need a buffing tool for this, so maybe if I just grab like a towel. Hopefully I don't wreck my towel. And I just dumped all of my laundry on the floor. Well, I just want to see if this buffing stuff actually works. I don't know. It does smell good though. I'm not sure if it makes it all that much shinier. Maybe it does. I'll have to give that a try. Either way, it smells like a lotion that I already have. What does this smell like? Okay, this is because it's not actually a buffer. I know it says buffing cream, but it's actually for going underneath your nail polish to prepare um, your nail bed and nail for a fresh coat of nail polish. It says that it helps um, nail polish to glide on super smooth. So, not quite what I expected, but it might still... It smells like something I know. I don't know why that drives me nuts, but I don't know. It smells good either way. Then, these two are kind of random purchases. 
I actually thought I'd get one of these, but you got two. Um, there's a pink one and a blue one, and this actually goes on the end of tubes, on the end of whatever kind of tube. It might be your hair care tube. I don't know what else comes in a tube. Toothpaste. I got these for toothpaste. But basically, you put it on the end, and it helps to get all of the toothpaste out because I hate, like, weird toothpaste that's all, like, globby. I don't know. I know. I have control issues, I guess. And now my dog's walking on all the laundry that I dropped on the floor and he's running away with a sock. Okay, so it's time for my last item. Um, this is going to kind of scare you and I thought this would be way smaller. Look at this. What was I thinking? This was just a couple bucks too. This is for pulling out facial hair out of your own face. And I thought it would be a much cheaper alternative to waxing. Um, I mean, it's kind of like plucking. So basically what you do is you stretch out your little thing and you pull. And that is really, really going to hurt a lot because it's like plucking 10 hairs at once. But damn, girl, can you say efficient? So if this works, it's going to be a really random fun not fun the opposite of fun torture device yeah so i hope you guys liked all my stuff um looking at all this stuff i think it looks like pretty good quality like yeah there's going to be some hits and misses but like i'm pretty happy with everything that i got and the quantities um it came in three weeks which i mean is pretty good so uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. Nothing looks crappy. Um, it's exactly what I wanted. So I'd definitely give this place a try again. Um, the website is banggood.com. So I definitely... What's the one that I didn't like? I think I actually erased them from my mind because I hate them so much. Oh, the other place that I tried that I don't ever want to try again is called Milan Lou. I shouldn't even mention them, but I'm only mentioning it so that if you were thinking about it, not to um yeah so i think i like being good pretty good i hope you guys like my little unboxing and i'll see you guys next time hey everybody just a random update i put all my lipsticks and lip glosses in this little thing and of course my tall stuff isn't very sturdy so i think i'll still be storing them separately but they are fantastic for my lip glosses and lipsticks that are not too tall so I think all these I'm going to keep separate that I wanted to keep together. But honestly, the best function for these is what it's exactly intended for. Is Are these um, lipsticks? And that just means that I have to buy more lipstick and lip gloss. Poor me. So just in case you were interested, I really, really do like this. Alright, see you.